Well, you know, I, I spent a lot of time looking at this issue of fat because so many people are confused about it. And most of us believe that actually eating fat makes you fat, that the fat that goes by your lips ends up on your hips because fat has more calories than carbs and protein. So weight loss is about calories in, calories out. And if you eat less and exercise more, you lose weight. But it's actually not how the body works because metabolism is not a math problem. So on the one hand, we believe that fat makes you fat. And on the other hand, we believe that fat causes heart attacks. So we were told to eat less fat, particularly a saturated fat, to reduce our risk of heart attacks. And both of these ideas as we've understood the science in more depth, have been completely flipped upside down. So I felt it was important to sort of break through the confusion. There's also a lot of confusion about what should we eat and what oils and what fats and what's good and what's bad. And everybody was pretty confused. I mean, we're getting really conflicting advice from a lot of different places. If you listen to the news recently, you probably heard about this new study that showed that eating omega-6 fats actually killed more people, even though it lowered cholesterol. And the ones who had the lowest cholesterol by eating the corn oil, which is an omega-6 fat, had more heart attacks than the ones eating butter and saturated fat. So it completely contradicts our prevailing wisdom that the government is telling us that professional associations like the American Heart Association are telling us, which is to eat more omega-6 fats and less saturated fat. I know I, I actually <clears throat> went to medical school in the 80s when low fat was in and everybody was telling everybody to eat low fat. And we had the food pyramid, which was essentially telling us to eat six to 11 servings of bread, rice, cereal, and pasta day. I mean, can you imagine 11 servings of bread and cereal a day and pasta as a health strategy? That advice, and to eat fats and oils only sparingly, that advice has led to the worst epidemic of obesity and diabetes. And I actually always recommended my patients to eat low fat diets to lose weight and to reverse heart disease. But in fact, uh, that wasn't working so well. <laughs> And since I've been having people eat more fat and less starch and sugar and refined carbs, they've had amazing results. I mean, people have gotten off 100 units of insulin, reversed their diabetes, lost 100 pounds. I never saw that when I was recommending low-fat diets. And there's, you know, there's more and more evidence. And there was a study published not too long ago where it was looking at 53 studies, randomized controlled trials, looking at low-fat compared to, to high-fat diets for weight loss. And <clears throat> the low-fat diets work better against the standard American diet, which is terrible. But compared to high-fat diets, they didn't do as well. And the high-fat diets always won out when it comes to weight loss. So high-fat in the face of low starch and sugar works better. Not when you eat your fat with starch and sugar, but when you take out the starch and sugar and you add more of the good fats, your body responds by shifting your metabolism from fat storage to fat burning. And I go through the science in the book, which is that, that insulin – is the fertilizer for your fat cells. Insulin is the fat storage hormone, and it's produced when you eat sugar or starch or any kind of flour products, rice, potatoes, pasta. Those things will drive up insulin, and insulin then shoves all the fuel into your fat cell. It's like a, opens the gates, and your fat cells start to grow and grow and grow. That's why you get all this belly fat. So <clears throat> the key is really to eat foods that don't raise insulin, and the main food that doesn't raise insulin is fat. And when insulin's low, your body actually will respond by increasing the release of fat from your fat cells, by speeding up your metabolism, by cutting your hunger. And, and the opposite happens when you eat sugar and starch. When you raise insulin, you get hungrier, you slow your metabolism, <clears throat> and you stop burning fat and you store more fat. It's the opposite of what you want to have happen when you're actually trying to lose weight.